So here's my latest successful playtime hack. I'm calling it Diopinar, or Directional Optical Antenna Array. Here's what it does. Inside every digital camera, there's a small chip. On this small chip, there's a large array of many, many, many small sensors. This array is laid out in rows and columns. Each cell represents a pixel. Actually, each cell is usually composed of at least three separate sensors, but we don't need that much detail for now. Now, when a camera reads the sensors, it doesn't actually read them all at once. Instead, it reads them in rapid succession. It reads pixel by pixel, row by row. For our applications, we'll mostly be dealing with rows, for reasons you'll understand shortly. When a pixel is read, the response is not immediate. Each pixel has its own exposure time. Usually, the exposure time is very long, and many read requests will be sent before the first pixel actually responds. But if the exposure time is short enough, the pixel can respond before its neighbor even gets its read request. The speeds and timing required to isolate each pixel's exposure time are well beyond what we'll be working with here. We'll be dealing with rows. This we can accomplish with simple webcam hardware. So I grabbed my webcam with manual exposure time and set the exposure to a minimum. A few quick tests revealed the rows to be timing about 100 microseconds apart, or 0.0001 seconds. This means if I use pulses of twice that, 200 microseconds, I can identify them even if the camera and broadcast are not in sync. This would very superficially imply broadcast rates of about 2 kHz. Frames come in rapid succession, and the bottom of one frame comes just before the top of the next. But we can't piece our data together this way, for various reasons. So we have to send packets small enough that the entire packet fits within a frame. For this test, I'm just using pulse widths. There are three pulse widths of increasing length. The longest pulse width is used as the header and footer. So if I ever find a string with two long pulses, I know the data in between them is the packet I'm looking for. There are more compressible signal formats that could fit more data in less space, but for this test, we're just going to go with simplicity. So I set up an Arduino as a transmitter. It broadcasts one byte at a time for a short period. It loops through the string, hello world, encapsulated in brackets. The brackets are used as formatting to identify there is a message encapsulated inside them. Each byte is essentially missing a bit, because I've reserved one bit to oscillate for every broadcast byte. That way the receiver knows when a new byte has arrived. My packets are quite large, there are quite a few pixels tall. So the signal needs to occupy a relatively tall length of pixels on the receiver's screen. This can be solved by using A, smaller packets, B, better data protocol and signal protocol, C, increasing the resolution of the camera. I'm working with a low-res 640 webcam. Okay, but what's it good for, you say? Well, it's a bit like computer vision, except that the bars are produced by the timing of the sensor, not the image, which means that it's very easy to read comparatively. It does not get distorted by perspective or view or angle. The bars are always the same width and they're always vertical. This means it can be optimized to extremely high efficiency. It also works very well with parallel processing and multi-threading. So it can either run very fast or on very little CPU power. You can also recognize multiple signals in a single image and at the same time know which direction those signals are coming from. For now it's just a fun hack, but if I ever get around to building swarm bots, I think that's where it'll be most useful. It's simple, low overhead and operates extremely fast. It could be used for not only tracking the other swarm bots, but communicating with them as well. They would not only receive the data, but also know where the data came from. Acting together, they could use this information very creatively, I think.